Um, so here's what we're going to talk about. Um, my name is Mel Robbins. I work for CNN, and I also am the CEO of Shrewd Media, which is based here in Boston, and we are one of the largest publishers online for women 30 plus. We've been in business for about six months and are doing uh, 1.8 million uniques a month, uh, to just aggregating content. And so what I want to talk to you about and what I talk to audiences about all over the world is your brain and the ways in which you screw yourself over. And what this speech is based on is a TED talk that I gave about two years ago in San Francisco that has since gone viral. And one of the things that, that um, we thought would be an interesting subject for us to talk about is managing complexity. Because the truth of the matter is, life is extremely complex. You work in a very complex industry, and it's only going to get worse. And so the question becomes, how the hell do you manage complexity without making things so complicated? And this is what we're going to do. First of all, we're going to talk about three stories in the news that you all know. None of them are Ebola. I'm so sick of talking about that. I feel like CNN should be rebranded ENN, the Ebola News Network. And I don't think we're going to come off of this until there's some sort of plane disaster or some other tr terrible tragedy. I mean, that's one of the bad things about being in the news business. But we're not going to talk about Ebola. We're going to talk about three examples of where there was a very complex situation that happened in the news and how an individual handled it. Okay? Then what we're going to get into is research from the Harvard Business School and from a number of neuroscientists scientists about the ways in which you should organize your workday so that you can be extremely effective. Because before I was in the media business, I was an attorney and I ran an executive coaching practice and I was on retainer with uh, A.G. Edwards, now Wells Fargo. I was on retainer with Bank of America with a bunch of different hedge funds. And so I understand the kind of constraints that you all feel in terms of the industries that you work in. And one of the major complaints that all of my clients had is that by the time they walked through the door of the office with a huge plan in place to execute for the day and right before the bell went off, the shit hit the fan and their day was gone and they never felt like they were in control of their day. So I'm going to show you the science behind how to organize your day so that you're more effective. And then I'm going to pull back the curtain and explain that even though you know all this stuff, you are not going to follow it. And the reason why is your brain screws you over all day long. And then I'm going to teach you what to do about it. So let's get started. All right, remember this guy? Yeah, this was a very, very complex story because it involved so many different owners. It involved the uh, NBA bylaws. It involved racism. It involved public opinion. It involved a potential player walkout. It involved sponsors leaving. I mean, this is a complete moving target. Well, luckily, Adam Silver gave us all a lesson in how you manage a complex issue. There's only two rules. They're very simple. Where do you stand and what's the outcome? And Adam Silver gave a press conference and I actually printed it out because I wanted to make sure I got the language right, where he said some things that you knew, whether you agreed with him or not, exactly what the NBA stood for, correct? You knew racism not tolerated. This guy, out. Fine. He was so clear. And the reason why he could be clear is because Adam Silver knew what he stood for and he knew the outcome that he wanted. And what he stood for, he said to you. He basically said, uh, I'm personally distraught that the views expressed by Mr. Sterling came from an institution that has historically taken such a leadership role in matters of race relations. So he sees the NBA as a leader in race relations. And you know what the outcome he wanted? He said it very, very clear. As for Mr. Sterling's ownership in the Clippers, I urge the Board of Governors to exercise its authority to force a sale of the team. And I will do everything in my power to make sure that happens. And so whether you agree with him or not, this is a very simple example of the fact that when it comes to complexity, you're never going to change how complex 
any issue is, whether it's complexity at work, complexity with technology, complexity with regulation, complexity with HR issues, complexity with your schedule, complexity with your sex life, like whatever the complexity is. You're never going to change the complexity. All you can do is be powerful as an individual in what you're going to do about it. Let's